Good day. In this video, we're going to do one question on nature of the roots. In most questions, when we work with nature of the roots, we will work with the discriminant or delta, this formula that we see here. And this formula again comes out of the quadratic formula from underneath the square root in the quadratic formula. Before you can answer a question on nature of the roots, this table should be summarized somewhere on a page for yourself. So if they say something about the roots are real, then you know delta will be bigger than equal to zero. If they tell you the roots are equal, then delta will be equal to zero. If the roots are real and unequal, delta will be bigger than zero. If they tell you the roots are rational, then delta will be a perfect square. If they tell you it's irrational, then delta will not be a perfect square. And if they say it's non-real or imaginary, delta will be smaller than zero. So let's do the question. The question reads, if ax squared minus 4x plus 2 is equal to 0 has equal roots and 3x squared minus ax minus a is equal to b has non-real roots, show that b is smaller than minus 2 and a third. What we will do is we will use the two equations separately and then together. So we write down the first equation and put it in standard form. It is in standard form. Of course, I'm going to work with the discriminant, b squared minus 4ac. I need to know what all those letters are. So I first go and say a is a. That's the thing in front of the x squared, the quotient of x squared. b is the thing in front of x, which in this case is minus 4, the quotient of x. And then c is the thing without x, the constant at the back. Then you write down the discriminant, b squared minus 4ac. And substitute the values of b. A and C in. Always remember to do it in brackets. The A, I put in the place of A. The B, I put in the place of B. And the C, I put in the place of C. And simplify it to find the value of delta or the discriminant. They told us up here that this equation has equal roots. I just wrote it here again. If the roots are equal, we'll make delta equal to zero and then solve for a, plus 8a on both sides, divide by 8 on both sides, and we get our answer a equals to plus 2. Then we write down the other equation. All I did is I minus a b on both sides to get it in standard form. I've got my x squared, x, and no x's. Again, we're going to work with b squared minus 4ac, so I need to find all those letters in this case. A is the thing in front of the x squared, the quotient of x squared, which is plus 3. B is the thing in front of x, the quotient of x, which is minus A. And C is everything at the back that has no x attached to it. Please put a bracket around it. We write down the discriminant, which is B squared minus 4AC, and substitute these values in. Remember to always substitute in brackets. Do not make mistakes. Now we simplify this expression by timesing the minus 4 times 3 into this bracket and squaring this bracket out. Simplify it. The discriminant will look like this now. But they told us up here that in this equation it has non-real roots. I wrote it here again. That means we will write our discriminant is smaller than 0. Now remember, we already worked out over here what the value of a is, so I can now substitute this a back in here and there. Remember, we substitute in brackets and be careful with your calculations. If you now square this out and times that out, you'll get plus 28 and then you minus 28 on both sides. You get 12b is smaller than minus 28. Then you divide by 12 on both sides to get the b alone, and it reads b is smaller than minus 28 over 12. And if you simplify that, you'll get b is smaller than 2 and a third, what we were asked to show. Please stop the video and get your brain around this question. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked the video and subscribe to the channel. If you run into a nature of the roots question that gives you trouble, you can send a clear WhatsApp photo of your problem to this number and a clear WhatsApp photo of where you tried it. And we will try and solve the problem and send back an answer to you as soon as possible. Enjoy Nature of the Roots.